The separation of science and religion is a myth. Science is simply the revelation to man of God's creation. In this series, Asking Creation, I look at the revelation of the universe and its order from the beginning to the end of time. Seeing that fate and reason are like the shoes on your feet, you can get farther with the two than just the one. I have titled this is Genesis the Story of the Neolithic Revolution. I, more accurately, I think, for the purposes of this video, maybe it should have been, is the story of the fall the story of the Neolithic Revolution, where man moved from hunter-gatherer to farmer. You see, it is my contention, it's in the title of the video, or it's in the beginning, that there is no conflict between science and religion. And while you may disagree with the story as portrayed in Genesis, in the New Testament, Jesus says that he speaks to people in parables. Much of the reason is for them to understand, because if you if you give the stats, the, the statistics, the hard cold facts, they may not have been able to understand or they may not have listened. So the story of the fall is a parable of the events that happened at that great time. And it tells not just a story of moving from one existence to another, hunter-gatherer to Neolithic farmer, but the social structure. The hunter-gatherer relied completely and totally on the providence of God. Or if you're an atheist, to say it, just say it in nature. But as you can see, I can hold to my beliefs while looking at this, the hard facts. Then, moving to Neolithic farmer, he took control himself. In some small way, he took control, where he provided food more for himself, not relying so much on God. Now he still needed good weather to avoid locust infestations, etc. But it is still, it's still pretty accurate. And from what I understand, the life expectancy for people dropped in the initial phases of the Neolithic Revolution. While they provided a more stable food source, which allowed, I believe, populations to grow, life was much harsher because the toil was much greater to obviously you had to provide for maybe a larger population. So you had to work harder and so life life expectancy dropped. Now, I'll just read the passage in the Bible. It's Genesis 3, chapter, sorry, Genesis 3, verses 17 to 19. To the man he said, Because you listened to the voice of your wife and ate from the tree which I have forbidden you to eat, accursed be the soil because of you. Painfully will you get your food from it as long as you live. It will yield you brambles and thistles as you eat produce of the land. By the sweat of your face you will earn your food until you return to the ground, as you were taken from it. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Now this is the, the New Jerusalem translation of the Bible. Now, it shows that man, let's say you could argue here that Man took the knowledge of planting food, growing it himself, and here he's telling the this is the moral of the story that man rejected God and took control himself. Now 
you could also say that this is man growing up. And I believe that God is not as harsh as portrayed here because we are growing up and taking more responsibility. But the outcome of which is yes, like I mentioned before, lower life expectancy as people worked much harder. You see here, painfully will you get your food from it as long as you live. So now, rather than relying on what God could provide, you have to work hard to earn your food. It will yield brambles and thistles. It wasn't just throw the seed in the ground, keep an eye on it, and harvest it a couple of months later. You have to work hard to keep the food. Because thistles, brambles, would destroy the crop, probably other animals. And I'd like to know what you think. This is just a, a theory of mine, and I, I'd say it's shared by many. But I do not see what is portrayed here as being actually against what has happened, what history tells us, what science tells us, what archaeologists tell us happened during the Neolithic Revolution. The story of the fall is man lived in paradise. Now, you could argue the toss because supposedly the hunter-gatherer worked 25-hour working week to gather all the food he needed. That's a shorter working week than what we currently have. The life expectancy may have been shorter, but living in a greater harmony with God his you know his social structure and his personal you know well being may have been better than what followed. So cultural memory gives the parable of the fall falling from close to God to walking away from him by going from hunter gatherer to farmer. So I'd like to know what you think. Has Have I misrepresented the move? Have I got it wrong? Or is there any information you could fill in that would either support what I say? Now, if you have something contrary, please feel free to post below. I may not reply to your comment, but at least we'll get a discussion going. And I'd ask people to be kind to each other, not to be mocking, because from my point of view, you can hold religious views and scientific views, and they do not need to be in conflict. So thank you for listening to this video. I hope you hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you'd like to, please share with your friends. And thank you. So looking forward to seeing you in the next video and God bless.